Well, I'd like I'd like to talk about copy copyright and copyright. artificial intelligence. Yes, because um, what has what has happened is that the the artificial intelligence is trained on existing data, what they would call data. Right. That could be photographs or paintings or novels or... It's a funny word which you say, artificial intelligence, you know, it's... <laughs> you are, uh, is that intelligence from us, the human beings, or uh, is it coming from mechanical things? Oh, it's coming from mechanical things. Mechanical things, things right. Right. Is the thing As there. I suppose it's the artificial well, bit. Yeah. Is the ga- game way, isn't it? Yes. Because I hear it quite a lot. And I said to myself, this is this sounds another language <laughs> somebody's oh, yes, made up. It's a way of describing something. This is somebody yeah. describing something, right, okay. So those those images that I showed you, yeah. they're not real photographs, they're based on if I, so if you say to them, show us a photograph of cake in a studio Yes. It goes away and finds some cake and some coffee. Yes. And a studio t- t- yes. and um, puts it all together. Yes. Which is very good, but then maybe that's come from a um, a photographer who spent a lot of time t- photographing the case. It's not recall reality. Oh, it's not reality. Yeah, it's no. not reality. You, you're making you're making it up. But it's based it on sp- want reality once. Is it? Oh, I don't know. That's that's up to up to the individual how you want the reality to be portrayed. Yes. Okay, but the cake was made once. It might have been photographed and reproduced, but it was made once. There was a cake once. Yeah. <laughs> so there's lots of cakes. So at this point, Adobe are just offering a, a freebie version of Express. So I can just put in a few words saying I want a studio in the street or. I want some coffee in the studio because yeah. these are all fantasies. We know it's never going to yeah, happen. Yeah, but it's, it's only, only a fantasy. It's not reality until it happens. Well, it might happen, but we tend yeah, to have that, that around noise in the streets. Yeah, but that's, that, that's a fantasy might happen. And we're not allowed to pour coffee on this <laughs> electronics. No. <laughs> no. Well, Matt, if we, can we pour it over Chris? Oh, he doesn't <laughs> mind a bit of coffee now and again. <laughs> He'd probably welcome that expectation. <laughs> Yes, it's what no, you portray is reality. <laughs> no, so the, no, there's no reality. To no, it. no, that's right. So, so it's like we say, well, look, after <laughs> after after the show, we're all going down to a certain cos- a co- um, coffee shop. <laughs> a certain coffee shop. Yeah, yes. A certain coffee shop. Okay, which I won't name no. um, for legal reasons. Why? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything. Too <laughs> about that. No, but no, then again, you see that could be not real. We, we could be down by the bus station well, or something like that because something else has happened. So it's not real, is it? Well, it might not It's only be. real if you're there. Well, if we end up putting headsets on mm. and living in another world, although... We can, we can all say it's real now. We're talking to you on the radio. OK, but it won't be real in well, another hour's be, time. It may not be. See, if, if, if for example, if we took ten of your 80s shows... Yeah and fed them into a, an artificial intelligence system and said, give us another three, much the same. Right. What? How real would that be? Well, it won't be real at all. Because I'm not there. No, you're not there. Yeah. But I'm sure Access on Aerials could rebroadcast it. Well, um, they are doing... They are well, rebroadcasting. Oh, they yeah, are doing it. original ones. What I'm saying is, yeah. could, could you get an artificial intelligence system to recreate something similar? So you want... You're looking for a computer mm. which will uh, re really introduce my voice. Yes. Okay. And so it'll, so it'll, it'll make make some notes on what your voice well, is like. It, so I think a <laughs> fake JD. <laughs> yes, yeah, a fake JD. No, it's real. The, what are you talking well, about? Well, it would be real. <laughs> would the would the listeners the know? The artificial no. intelligence one. <laughs> well, I've got that as well. Um, yeah, so well, you think that well, if somebody's listening to the show, mm. okay, tomorrow uh, at, in, in, should we say, Australia or somewhere yeah. across wherever, yeah. that that is real time? 
Well, that might be a good way of doing it because mm. I'd, I'd, real time. Access Solariums put your show out on mm. a Friday between six and eight or eight and mm. ten or something. So Friday evening. Um, Friday evening, yes. Yeah. Well, somebody in Australia might not like it at that time. No, they, they might. They might have their own well, idea <laughs> when but Friday that is. Wait. So the ro the robot would would um, delay your show or. Well, we can anyway because it's all done on a computer as it is now. Yes. So we've already got that first step of right. putting. The, it's like we can take Chris's program now and put it on Sunday morning at uh, two o'clock in the morning. It makes no, no difference as long as you're not telling what time of the day it is. <laughs> no, but what I'm what I'm thinking is that, that with enough artificial intelligence, it might it might say well. Well, it might, it might try and work out who who was listening and where they were. Well, so that's that's quite simple. That's simple. That is simple. Yes. The whole world. Yes, you. Yeah, the whole world. But okay, if it's if it's early morning. Yeah. In, um, in the UK, mm -hmm. the robot might say, "Well, Chris has Chris has gone wild, <laughs> and um, this isn't what the people want to listen to at all. We're going to play some Mantovani now." So they leave Chris's voice in there, but he's um, he's no longer in control of what the music is. Matt, I <laughs> I don't know who Mantovani is. Ah, oh, well, no, so well, so so you're <laughs> well said. The guitar music's a mistake. Well, that's just my opinion. So my shows would be replaced with a lot of heavy metal music <laughs> for the people who like heavy metal music. And the okay, so that's, that's going are. on the preference of what you like or anybody else likes. So if you if you turn the radio on and you know that programme is going to play nothing but uh, Mantovani mm. and you don't like Mantovani mm. at all, mm. you know, you are in control of that big knob which says off. Oh, now that's not an artificial intelligence system, J.D. That's the it listener is, well, it, taking control. Well, it is artificial because uh, well, not really. I mean, if the listeners decide to turn it so off. So you think you think a, a pro you think a program is not artificial? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're real. You're real, real. We're, we're in the studio. Okay, but and those are compact discs. Okay, well there. then, if you, if they listen to the program um, two minutes past twelve. And oh, on a recording, that's and oh, that's not it's not reality. Uh, well, that's no, still a sort of reality. Why? Well, I don't think so. You see, you, you're listening to my programs on on a, on a Friday. Yes. Okay. They're not they're not reality at all. There was something well, I did on a reality. Friday evening, yeah, between eight and ten, and that was it. That was real, because I was there. Right. But I'm not there anymore. No, you're not there anymore. Yeah, I, I'm not there anymore. So, so it depends. So, if this, if his pro, uh, just, um, sir's program goes out again, yes, uh, somewhere along the line, it could be across the world. You know, it could be, it will come in another hour's time. It will be played. Yes, and that's not real. It's not on real time no, when it's it was not recording. Very flexible either, is it? Mm, no. So what I, what I'm saying is that the the. The artificial intelligence could re refine this mm -hmm. sort of system. Mm -hmm. So, yes. so because Chris, you you sometimes did appear on the Euro Metal Express I playing did. metal late at night. Well, I wasn't playing metal. I was sat where <laughs> you were sat. Right. Um, and I just had to keep Andy company, that was my job. Well, just, just, just think, the listener doesn't know what's happening in the studio, unless no. we've got no. a camera in here. No. Right, so I could be sitting out in the corridor, shouting away to you. Yeah, <laughs> and you can yes. put some <laughs> clothes on. <laughs> you see, you can say that. Yes. And the people will think... Oh, what's happening in that studio? They're probably right. <laughs> They're probably right. But it's it's we we know it's a load of people. But <laughs> <laughs> look, Will, stop punching JD. <laughs> you see, he used to do this earlier. He's going yeah. back in time. Yeah, I know. Just <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. yes, that's why I say he's well. Look, you listen to the program right now. Hmm. From you know, doing, doesn't make it any difference what time of the day it is. Right. That is live. 
because yes. we're, we're live yes in this but if you listen tomorrow morning and, and we're we're in, and we're in exeter yeah or well i'm plymouth and torbay on dob yes so we're in devon yes we're in on, devon at this moment time, yes time scale yes with the ones which are should we say on other ra radio stations mm -hmm. are not real well yeah. you're real you're real on this station Yes. I uh, know he's having to think of this. So now, think about this. now we're real, we're going to let the listeners hear Meredith Brooks. <laughs> 